Hi, welcome back to Scripture Explorers. I'm James. And I'm Aria. And we're the Scripture Explorers. Abraham? Sarah? Are you there? How are you, Explorers? Did you need us? We're wondering when we get to hear your story. How about right now? Yes, I'll get the popcorn. It starts a long time ago. Back then our names were a little different. They were Abram and Sarai. You had different names? We did. The rest of my family had turned away from following Heavenly Father. My father tried to offer me as a sacrifice to a false god, but I was saved by God. I married Sarai, and we wanted to follow Heavenly Father's plan like Adam, Enoch, and Noah. Heavenly Father was pleased that Abram wanted to continue the priesthood line. For Abram's faithfulness, God made a promise that we now call the Abrahamic Covenant. What's a covenant again? A covenant is a very special promise we make with God. He tells us that if we will do what he asks of us, he will give us certain blessings in return. What kind of blessings? Well, Heavenly Father told us that if we would accept the gospel and be baptized, he would bless us with salvation and eternal life, all through the sacrifice of our Savior Jesus Christ. That's a pretty big blessing. It's the biggest blessing. And God didn't just promise those things to me and Abram. Part of the covenant is that all of our children and their children, down through all the generations of the world, can have the same blessings if they'll also be faithful. So can we have those blessings too? Yes, if you can accept the gospel of Jesus Christ, be baptized, and do your best to choose the right, you can receive the blessings of the Abrahamic covenant as well. That's amazing! When God made the covenant with us, he changed our names to Abraham and Sarah. I was also promised that my family over time would be as countless as the stars in the night sky. At the time, we had not been able to have children. We didn't know how Heavenly Father could fulfill his part of the promise if we didn't have children to pass it down to. But God always keeps his promises. It took a long time, but I finally became a father when I was 85 years old. You must have been the oldest dad ever. Maybe I was. But once again, Heavenly Father proved he would keep his promise, even if it isn't at the time or in the way we expect. That's a pretty good story. And it's not over yet. The Lord had more to teach us. 